Hi YouTubers, this is Minnie Prepper and this is day four of my Nutrisystem journey. I wanted to show you this morning what a day's worth of food pretty much constitutes in, um, in Nutrisystem. Um, every morning we get up and we swim laps and so we get up at around six o'clock and head out to the local pool and swim. This morning I swam 20 Olympic laps and uh, we always have exercised even though our weight has fluctuated up and down. We used to run, I used to run, I've run a marathon, um, but running is is not a good activity for me for a couple of reasons, but I won't go into that right now. But swimming during the summer has proved to be a very um, beneficial sport for us, activity for us. And um, so we have to get up and do that early because in the summertime the pool is crowded with kids and families and that sort of thing. We won't have the pool really to ourselves until after the kids go back to school later on this summer. But uh, anyway, I wanted to show you what I picked out last night for today's meals. And most of these things are Nutrisystem entrees. So I'm going to show you what breakfast we constitute this morning. Um, I generally boil a few eggs and I keep them in the refrigerator. This is what I eat. This is called a power fuel in Nutrisystem speak. And I eat this before going to swim. And I have a cup of coffee or two. And that is all the coffee I have during the day because uh, if I have any more than that, it is very hard to get to sleep at night. Then, after I swim, I have a Nutrisystem entree. This is breakfast. And as you can see, this is a very small breakfast. You add a little milk to that and heat it up. Uh, different types of breakfast, of course. But I'm going to try this this morning. This is more like what I would consider a snack. The egg is actually breakfast, to me, anyway. And then um, for lunch, I'm going to have this spicy Kung Pao noodle thing. You add water to that, and everybody's had like a cup of noodles before. That's what I expect to be like. Um, there's actually... Um, snack that you have after lunch on Nutrisystem and today I'm going to use the Nutrisystem Crush peanut butter chocolate bar which I'm really liking these things this is 150 calories and they actually do crush your hunger in the absolutely worst part of the day for me uh, in the afternoon when I'm feeling hungry hungry and sleepy right there that's what's going to help me through that then around six o'clock I will have this Italian herb flatbread pizza. Again, not a bad calorie count, 260. And I want to turn it around and show you what you have to do here. Um, there's not much in addition to most of the entrees that you have to to buy to put on the food, but you, in this case, need to put some shredded cheese on the flatbread and then microwave it. Very easy to do. I want to show you the kind of cheese that I use. And this is it. Right here, pizza blend cheese. And a bag of this size is going to give you enough cheese for about four of these. You really don't want to use this. You want to use this as a condiment, not as a um, just load it up. And then as a little watching TV kind of snack afterwards, uh, these Nutri chocolates. And I, like I said, I'm not a big sweet person or a dessert person. I like salty. So when I reorder the Nutrisystems, I'll probably um, get more salty snacks. 
Yeah, anyway, so part of what I wanted to talk about today was how it's, it's almost impossible not to lose weight eating this stuff. You know what I mean? I have no complaints with the taste of the food, nor the portion size. Um, I've seen so many what were going to be series of people doing Nutrisystem series uh, on their diet where they, they fall off or they have some excuse for, for not doing it anymore. And uh, I know for a fact this week I'll have at least one sheep day because we have a, a Hawaiian party to go to and they will have um, good things to eat there and beverages and I'm not going to not eat. Now, by the time that rolls around on Friday though, my, um, as people say, this is incorrect, but my stomach will have shrunk. Your stomach really doesn't shrink. It, it just, uh, you can get full by using portion control with a few days of suffering, you will uh, have a feeling of satiation earlier than what you do if you're used to eating bigger portions. So Friday, when we do go to um, this luau type thing, um, I'm not going to be able to eat as much as what I usually have been able to eat because all week I've been eating tiny, 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 little portions of food and uh, people who who fall off the system or don't lose weight on the system uh, probably can't handle the portion size it's not the taste of the food the taste of the food is actually palatable mostly so far what I've had on Nutrisystem has been edible so um, of course it's processed and and, uh, but what you're trying to do is you're trying to retrain yourself to uh, eat a small portion of food. And for a lot of us, especially if you live far away from a grocery store, or if you suffer from fatigue, which is um, very common in people who carry a lot of weight on them, it's very just it's really hard to move around. So if you suffer from that kind of fatigue, a lot of times you'll say, well, I have this or that in the pantry, I have, you know, I have pasta in the pantry, or I have some other kind of item uh, that you keep around for your kids or your husband, and you say, oh, I'll just, I'll just eat that, and then I'll go to the store tomorrow. Well, two or three days of that, and your motivation is completely shot. So by having system by having all of the food there in the house, you are cutting down on that major step that you have to take to go and resupply your diet pantry. And uh, this is one of the things that makes Nutrisystem work when it works is the fact that the food is already there at your house. And if you're paying for it like I am, this is not a sponsored um, series of a vlog. If you're paying for it like I am, you tend to justify eating the food because you don't want to waste your money. So there's that. There's the fact that it's already there. And then there's the fact that it's portion controlled. So you know when you're cheating and the things that you add to this really don't amount to many calories. Even if you added everything that Nutrisystem allowed you to add, it would only be about 300 calories, which could be worked off easily just by moving around during the day. So, I told you guys that I was going to organize uh, that area back here in the hallway. And I wanted to show you that before. We left this morning, there's the angel. I don't know if you can see that. Put the light switch on here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so anyway, all that food that I showed you guys the other day is now organized into bins. So here you'll see all of the little breakfast items.
lunches, dinners. What's this? Hmm. Need to try that tomorrow. And snacks. Here's my favorite little bar so far. My crush. Like that. Popcorn. And of course we can make popcorn ourselves and it's going to be a little bit more healthy than what's in this bag. But uh, anyway, portion control training. And I plan to do this through October, maybe further. But um, as far as feeling a difference, yeah, I already feel a difference just after a few days. So anyway, um, that's it for today. Have a great day. And I'll see you probably tomorrow. Bye.